Is there any romances in the house this time? We can confirm. Hi everyone. Oh. Hello everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. It's been so long. It's been it's been great to be honest. I haven't been dragged into one of your YouTubes once again. But here we are months late months later. Months. 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 And now it's the first YouTube we've done with human child. <gasps> oh my god. There's, th there's technically three of us here right now. I'm four. Oh yeah. Sorry, Angus. So guys, we are coming to you with a good YouTube today. We have decided we are gonna answer all of your Geordie Short reunion questions. Because the reunion is out, and I know you all wanna know the gossip. So if we have not told you the questions yet. Right, okay. Because I want them to be a surprise. Nice. Do you have many? Has anyone replied? <laughs> Holly's wrote something really, really funny. It'll be a wind up, they'll be wind up. No, they're up. really, really funny. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they're a little bit too right, extreme. Holly, Holly basically is. Holly's is went in. She's went in and, and replied with things that did happen, so we can't, we can't discuss. I don't think we can discuss because they're actually really bad. Does James and Holly talk about what happened between them? Okay. It's a bit of a weird one, that, because. The James and Holly thing isn't a big deal anymore. No, There's but, bigger deals than James and Holly. But can you remember when Holly looked absolutely unreal? Oh, well, it was every day. So there was one point on the, on that, right, that yeah, day. That day. She left the bedroom when we're all in Portugal. She looked. And even James said, I would. But who And I think he even said that, he said that on camera. Yeah, he did. So the thing is with Holly, she's had a lot of exes in there, hasn't she? But James isn't the main one in the reunion. The main one is Kyle. That's where you're going to see. That was intense. That was intense. I think, imagine anyone, right, having to see the ex who basically destroyed her when she was yeah. younger. Like mentally, everything, like she was, she, was, she was in a bad way. Yeah. And she's openly talked about that. Yeah, she has. Imagine having to see that person again she face was, to face. She was physically with Kyle. She, they practically lived together. Yeah, they did, yeah. Like with James, I know like back in the day, they were on and off. But, but no, it's just shagging. It's, not, it's nothing compared to what's about to come with Kyle. And something that we find out, Oh my God. It's bad. That was that was the Geordie Shaw skeleton. I think there might have been a few secret <laughs> over Holly. Well, the <laughs> well. At the <laughs> and well. Sophie, I've got to say, everyone's talking about you. Sophie is on fire. Yeah, it's Flip, my time. Nah, Sophie looks incredible though. Like, this isn't about you, this is about our bloody. No, it's about me, it always is. You know these YouTubes are always about oh, me. Oh, this is a good one. Who's the dirtiest person you have ever lived with in the Geordie Shaw house? As dirty as in dirt or dirty Let's mouth? do dirty as in unclean and let's do dirty as in filthy. I think dirty as in unclean could have been you, Charlotte. You're not as bad now because you're becoming a mother, but back then you were the girl to never shower. I and you did. were proud about that? No, I did no, shower. No, we used to always ask, Charlotte, you're going to shower today, you score. I can go 24 hours without having a shower. It does not feel bad. <laughs> and I still can now. A daily shower for me just isn't for me. Yeah, well, yeah, it's not for everyone. But it, it, we did, there was never like a period of a week where I didn't shower. God, Jesus, no, never. Who else was really dirty? Listen, I'm telling you now, first couple of series, Holly was quite dirty. She used to leave them cheese balls. She never took them eyelashes off. Imagine the bacteria. What about the time when we used to turn the knickers inside out? because we couldn't be bothered to wash them. The you never used to wear them. No, I never wore them. So, next one. Is there any romances in the house this time? Yes. There is actually. We can confirm. There is. OGs and, and not even newbies. I think it was a, a middle cast member with an OG. And there was a kind of OG-ish with an OG. Yeah, I know there, there, there was. There was one OG who got himself about and caused a little bit of a stir. We thought, you know what, like, you could leave here as a relationship. The first relationship that's ever left and been something there was definitely some kissing. There was some flirting, maybe some fondling. But yes, surprisingly, there was. Someone actually just said, 
just someone throw a ham sandwich at Dan for all time's oh sake. My God. <laughs> and that's from Jedwood94. You, your question has made our day. Because that is a, that's a Geordie Shaw fan, that. That's a, what that's on the our Hall of Fame is one of our funniest moments is when we were walking out of Beijing <laughs> and someone froze a ham sandwich on <laughs> so, Dan so, but, G Shaw. No, 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 no. So what the funny thing about it is he's obviously called Daniel. But because he threw someone threw a ham sandwich off and we'll start calling them Hamiel. Hamiel. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we shouldn't laugh because Dan was a lovely boy and he didn't actually come back to the reunion. Yeah, no, I think, I think he, he openly spoke about it like it just wasn't for him. Which again, we he, were sad because He had a lot of banter with the boys, but it was I'm banter. Sure, I'm sure someone was getting with Dan at one point. Was it Chloe? Holly was kissing him, wasn't she? Well, I mean, so didn't she kiss? This is a good one. Someone actually asked, did Becca from Series 2 turn up? The thing is with Becca, we are still in contact with her. I was speaking to her the other day. I and I know right. you've spoken with her quite yeah, a bit. Yeah, I have, I have. And I think Becca has a good right to come back to the reunion. I think she was a big part of it. She came to Mexico. She was in Tuesday, And she got with Jay. Yeah. God, remember her and Jay? Uh -huh. So listen, Becca was asked. Did you ask her this? Yeah, she said no, she said no because she said it just with her having kids and like having a lot of them, she didn't want to go put herself back and maybe get a bad reputation. But I wish she'd spoke to me about it at the time, because I would have physically said to her, it's not that kind of show. Yeah. Like, I'm going in pregnant. I, I would say like we're quite close with Becca at one point. Yeah, I, I think Becca was a I big loved miss. Her. Loved she her. didn't come back, but she was a big miss. Oh, this good one. Right. Did anyone have sex? Right, okay. We need to really clarify what went on with this whole sex thing, right? Obviously, Geordie Shaw is known for partying, going yes. out, mm -hmm. meeting people, having sex like everyone does. Yeah. And, and I think because it was unfiltered, people loved it. Yes. But the reunion mm -hmm. changed. We had a prude in the building. There would have been sex, and I'm happy to have the sex. I like no, it when No sex one's having no sex. But because we had mother in the building, the cheek of this woman to tell everyone there was no sex. When I went into that villa, when we went to Portugal, <laughs> I made sure not one person was going to be having sex. And I said, oh, oh she's sitting off for this. She means business. I said, I sat everyone down and I went, there's some house rules that everyone needs to play by. There is under no circumstances anyone is having sex <laughs> in this villa. I've got my baby in my belly. She's not being involved in this atmosphere. It's so not Geordie Shaw. Don't get ahead of yourselves. <laughs> We're all here just to have some nice conversations and some bonding time. No f***ing sex. However, I did allow... Yeah. There was a well. This was a good bit. There was a well at the bottom of the garden. And I said, if anyone does feel the need to pleasure themselves, because I know there's a sex ban, go down to the well and have a wank. Oh. And it was called the wank and well. Do you think anyone did it? Did you? No. I didn't either. And if there was sex, then I'll be having some strong words with anyone who did that behind my so back. So what about if you watch the show and you see there was fondling? Because you wouldn't have known until it comes out. Would, the, would you block them? I'd be seriously disappointed. Be, I have to block them. We're not That's sex true. mad maniacs anymore. That is true, but I think the newbies... Believe me, we were. Yeah. We were horny buggers, but not Well, now. you were definitely a horny bugger. How do you think that got there? Nothing but <laughs> unwell, hon. Right, next question. What's your opinion on Vicky trying to disassociate herself from GS, even though it gave her platform? Um, well... Go on, then. <laughs> <laughs> It's a hard one because I'm not even telling a lie when I say this, but when we were in conversations with the producers about the, the reunion happening, we wanted everyone, everyone to be yeah. there. Now, there's never been a fallout, there's never been a fight, there's never been a kickoff for why we don't speak anymore. Mm -hmm. You still speak sometimes on Instagram. There's just been odd little things happening in the press way, way back when she first ever left. That kind of ignited this yeah, this yeah, feud yeah. between me and her, which there wasn't really a feud there, and I don't know whether it was press twisting her words or whether she was actually saying it. Saying it. Yeah. 
But there was this like press thing that went on. And obviously we just haven't spoke since. Not that we spoke anyways when she left, before the press thing. And not because we had a fight or we had an argument or we, we didn't ever want to speak again. It just naturally grew apart. Mm -hmm. And that happened with everyone, didn't it, Sophie? Mm -hmm. As much as that girl said, disassociate herself from the platform she was given. Maybe, it, maybe it's an element of, because obviously everything that's came to light recently with, the, I know she did the alcohol program and stuff. Maybe there is a big part of it that actually she's had some demons mm. and Jory Shaw brought that demon out of her even yeah, more. Yeah. And, and because of like addictions and stuff like that, she can't physically put herself yes, back no, into agree, it. Yeah, Whereas yeah. all of us were just the type of people who like, you know, happy-go-lucky, like we, we, we just enjoy to have a I good time. I, and it didn't take over our lives no, so we could distance could ourselves it, yeah. from it and get back anyway, I don't know. Maybe. You know what, it, it would have been good with everyone there, but unfortunately, not everyone was. Yeah, and Vicky is on her own path, and good luck to her. Last question. Woo! Please tell me, Scotty T shows his gorgeous face. Scotty is always gonna be part of Jodie Shaw as yeah. well. And I know there's been loads of things in the press about and whether he was coming back or whether he wasn't, even Martin as well. There was loads of things. Oh my God, there's so many people here. Yeah, like say. there was questions above people's heads. And I think Scott is is a day one. I'd class him as an OG. Who did he have a fling with? Chloe? Well, he's had a and fling Holly. with anyone. And Holly. And he was with Vicky at one point. Marnie. Did you try it on with him or not? Never. Nah. Because of Gary. You know what, I'm gonna be honest, like me and, me and Scott always had this like, we didn't really have this connection and I think that's because he just didn't want to f us. But then, you know what, later on in life, like- You got close. Yeah, it's mad because I but, think it was when you did the Charlotte tour. Yeah, you know, because back in the it. day, back in the day, they only just wanted to shag, shag, shag. Now they've grown up a bit, they're, they're yeah. nicer. And you know what, I still speak to Scott now and then. Oh, and, I do. And I love the boy. And, I do. You know, I wish he was involved in more things. And I wish- But listen, he's stuff. there. Yeah. He's there. He's there. And you are gonna enjoy when he is there. And on that note, we will end this because it's time to end. And that's it. This has been a very um, random YouTube video because <laughs> I don't do that many now. They just randomly pop up. But I hope you've enjoyed and like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment the enjoyment out of 10. Goodbye. Ta-ra.